What's up peeps, Muscle Thumbs here, and today we're going to be continuing my tutorial on how to get the advantage on the enemy team by using 10 clever angles on house. This is part 2, so if you have not seen part 1, I do recommend you do see part 1 so um, you can see the first 5 angles, and I will be continuing by starting out with the 6th angle all the way to my 10th angle. So we are going to get right into this. The next spot is in the master bathroom. This is the master um, bedroom. This is the master bathroom. You just want to shoot out this wall. There you go. This gives you an angle onto the living room objective room, the front door, uh, workshop entrance from outside, the hallway for a kid, workshop and master, and you can see them coming up the stairs. This is a very good angle whenever you're trying to defend kid or master because they're going to be focusing on those two rooms. They're not going to notice you right away. So you're going to get the first shot off, which is going to give um, you the advantage. And if you get the kill off, it will give you the advantage to your team, increasing the chance of you winning the round. So um, this is a pretty good spot. I use it often um, in public matches, and it does work pretty well. So I usually get some decent amount of kills during rounds. So I'll show the demonstration and the attacker's point of view. in the kitchen in the kitchen to the dining room this is the dining room and this is just the doorway into the dining um, office in the dining room and you just want to shoot out this wall this is where the stairs is that the main main stairs that a lot of people use or they'll use back stairs but that's where you use this spot above where I am because this is master bathroom above me so you want to you get a good sight whenever this is living room objective you can see them coming from that window, this window, and the front door. And you can see them coming up the stairs. This is a very cheeky little spot, but it works out. I use this all the time in games. I get one or two, but once you get them and the team is calling out and telling you where you are, you just got to move because this is a very vulnerable spot because you have to watch here. They come from there. Kitchens, you do have to watch cameras sometimes. So I will show the demonstration what the attacker's point of view is. Okay, and the next spot is in the kitchen basement stairs. That's what I like to call it. And you want to take out this railing, come out from that angle so it's out of your way. And you just want to shoot out this wall. That extra wall is the baseboard. So then you just want to make this a little bit big, but not too big. And you can see their feet coming. And you can shoot through the barricade and take them out pretty quickly. And from the perspective of the attacker, this is what they would see is barely nothing where they come in. There's a little tiny hole under a table which they're not going to expect. So um, you will see it whenever I show the attacker's point of view but you just wait for them to come here and you might want to barricade this so then you can hear someone coming from here or you just have to be listening for them to coming through the garage. You just need to be watching the cameras while you're doing this spot or you just need to get one or two kills here and keep moving. That's what these clever angles work with. You just gotta keep moving because they'll eventually figure out where you are, but it does give your team an advantage if it does work, and they usually do work all the time. There's those some chances where there's those really good players that know all these spots and would um, just take you out immediately. So you just got to be prepared for that and get the first shot off. So now I'm going to show you guys demonstration and the attacker's point of view during this. living room. This is also an objective room, but this works best when the, the objective is upstairs because you get a good view on the garden door again, and they do not expect this one at all. Like I get a ton of kills on this one, and you get the ones where they're coming from garage. They won't expect it. I've seen this rarely, other people doing it, but it doesn't happen often, 
And if this is rigged like how I have it, they won't notice you coming from there, but they might notice you a little bit more here, because when they come up, they're looking up. Like, see it? But this is just to get a couple kills here, and you want to keep moving, because then once they see their friends are dying, and they see where the bullets are coming from, and the angle they're coming at, they can um, assume where you are, and then they'll pre-fire, or they'll just automatically know where you are, and um, take you out. So, this one's a pretty basic one, it's not that hard. So, I'm going to show you guys the demonstration of this one in the attacker's point of view. Put your shield just in front of this car, and you want to fall over your shield onto the car. This is works best with the objective room in here. You just want to take out this garage door really quick. This one, you get one or two, you gotta move, because then they'll figure out where you are really quick. Because they'll notice there's a hole in the garage. So you just want to take it that out. Right there, that's the stairs from which they come up where they spawn. You take out one, two, or maybe even three, and then it comes a 5v4, 5v3, or 5v2. And you just want to, this will give you the biggest advantage when it's garage. I feel this is the best kill spot of them all. It's more of a spawn kill than anything, but it's still a clever angle to use during this. Especially whenever it's in garage, because that's where they always spawn usually. Because they'll like, alright, we can get in there really quick, take them out, they're not expecting it. Well, you're already expecting it. So, you can take them out, and once you get one or two, or maybe even possibly three, I've never gotten three. Um, you just want to prone, or you want, if you're working with friends have him instantly reinforce this wall because then it will cover you as I'm going to reinforce it and show you so as if that you were shooting they just instantly reinforce it then you're good then you just keep moving especially if you're a roamer then you can take out a couple of them and go back upstairs and do something else so now I will show you guys the demonstration the attacker's point of view during this I said I was only going to do 10 clever angles, but this today I'm going to give you guys a bonus one. And you are going to want to have an operator that has an ACOG scope, or you just, if you're very accurate with reflex, have a person that has an SMG as a secondary, or so they can use a shotgun to blow out this wall, or you want to use impact grenades, which Rook does have, so he can use ACOG. And once you throw it, you just want to crouch and go through, and this is a spawn point. This is a spawn kill spot, this isn't really a, t a clever angle. So you, as soon as I come through, you take out one, two, three, I've even gotten an ace on this, to be honest, I've gotten all five, they've all spawned there. But it was on casual, I've been playing ranked a lot more. So casual, that makes it for the entire team spawns in one area, but I've gotten where they're all trying to rush, take them all out, spray them all down, got them all. All five got the ace. So. For those who are new, Ace is does mean that you've killed the entire team by yourself. No one else helped you. You did it all by yourself. So that concludes part two on House. And I will probably be doing Presidential Plains, Chalet, or Skyscraper as my next map, so don't forget to comment down below which map I should do next. And um, thanks to my sister for helping me make this video for part two. And um, so, yeah. I'm hoping that I can continue this series because it seems like you guys are enjoying this, and I'm enjoying making these videos and helping out the new players. And once I finish this series, I'm planning on doing another series for this game to help um, new players and beginners. So, that's the end of this map, and I will see you guys in the next video of this series. I'll catch you later.